Yep. We're painting this bad boy. God damn, it's heavy. For no reason. This is like a college textbook. Welcome back to another video on the channel. My name's Jordan, and we're gonna be customizing the plates of the PS5. I'm actually pretty excited to do this because uh, I got pretty lucky to get one. Well, it's not mine, but it's my brother's, but I'm still gonna paint it. We're gonna go for a Spider-Man, uh, not into the Spider-Verse, but the new game mixed with the old game kind of theme. I don't know, I have like the vision in my head right now, but you guys are gonna see it in the video. And I'm just gonna take you guys through my process, see how it goes. Uh, I know there's different ways to do it, but this is just how I do it. Uh, this, there's no, I don't think there's like any right way to paint the PS5 plates, but this is how I do it. So without further ado, like the video if you liked, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. So first step, we're gonna wanna take off the plates so that uh, I guess, you know, I'm not gonna paint it with the plates on, it's kinda insane. Um, yeah, you hold the bottom, lift up and push down. Don't break it. Yeah, there we go. Make sure everything's all right. Flip it over on its back again. I get so scared because I don't want to break it. Oh, okay. There we go. It's kind of like a pull down so it slides off. It's not like a pop off. It's a slide. And now we're going to put this in a safe place so that we don't destroy it while we're painting it. So. Alright, so the first step I like to do is go in with some acetone and remove the finisher that was already on the product. Doing this allows the paint to stick to the surface a lot better and it's really crucial if you want to have a long lasting product. Next up, what I like to do is sketch out my piece so I know where I'm going with this. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to draw, get a, get a good shape for the head. I'm going to be doing like a little split in half Spider-Man style, but you'll see that. So yeah. Up next, what I like to do is tape off the places that I'm not going to be painting. So in this case, it's going to be taping off half of Spider-Man's face, so I could do one side at a time. I normally use Angela's paints because they work the best for me and I also customize sneakers, so those are the only paints that I have. But I, I find that they're really long lasting, so whatever works. And the first portrait is done. Time to get on to the second one.
All right, and this is what the second was looking like. I didn't record it because I didn't think it was necessary, but this is what it is. And this is the main course right here. I think it came out really nicely. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Last but not least, I want to put the plates back on and this is how you do it. Simple as put it, taking it off. You just kind of slide it and pop it right back on. Uh, you're going to want to hear that click. Yeah, just like that. And yeah. Same with the other side, just gonna slide it right back on and then hear that click. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I took, I took my time with these. Um, it's my first time painting such a nice flat surface like this. So, you know, a lot different from my other works, but regardless, I really have fun. So make sure if you liked, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.